This is the week when it appears that the entire travel industry descends and checks into Dubai for the Arabian Travel Market and the Arabian Hotel Investment Conference. And many of those people are here tonight for the World Travel Awards Middle East. More than 400 senior industry figures attended the event, which has become a landmark fixture on the tourism and hospitality calendar. With guests enjoying dinner and entertainment whilst awaiting the announcement and presentation of more than 120 awards. I think really and truthfully, I can honestly say now that the Middle East travel market, generally speaking, and I'm going across the board, um, has raised the standard, raised the bar. They've been very, very comprehensive and correct in their marketing strategies. They've gone out there, they've performed. I mean, we've seen very strong performances tonight from Etihad, uh, Qatar, and Emirates in terms of the airlines. The guests attending the gala ceremony, the focus was the awards itself, but that was complemented by entertainment from Arabic singing sensation Nancy Ajram. The guest of honour at the 2010 World Travel Awards Middle East was His Highness Prince Bandar bin Saad bin Khalid, who received the coveted award for Middle East Leading Personality of the Year. I think it, may, it has made a difference since it was established here in the, uh, in the Middle East. Uh, we see every year lots of uh, hotels and other uh, industry trying to compete for this, yeah. this award. Now this year, of course, it's, it's, it was my pleasure to, to participate and to be the, uh, the guest of, the, of honor for this, this year's awards. Uh, it was my first time to, to come here. Back inside the awards ceremony, major awards were being presented to hoteliers, airlines, tourism boards and others associated with the industry. And this is what some of the winners had to say. It is very thrilling, I mean, to, to, to get the, such an award. It means a lot, of course. I mean, the short time to be on the leading uh, in the Middle East. Uh, last year as well, we were leading worldwide, I mean, in, in general, to be the best destination. So, I mean, wonderful. I mean, th this, this is going to, I mean, there has been a lot of work done to achieve such a such an, uh, leading award. Also, we work hard, I mean, to be uh, on the leading on top of the world as well. We have received nine awards, and that is uh, tremendous. It is embarrassing to receive so many awards. Well, I'm passionate about each and every one of them, but obviously the leading Middle East brand is one of them, and probably our latest hotel that opened uh, in January, uh, the Park Rotana Hotel, and obviously the Cove Rotana, all of them, all of them. I, I, I don't want to forget any of them. The nice thing is we have won in all the categories which are important for us from a product and service development perspective. Yeah. We have introduced, you know, recently a new first class product, new seats. Um, so I've won the uh, Middle East leading first class airline, so that's, that is certainly a recognition of our investment into, into that premium product. I think some of the regional winners will do very well. There's um, been some um, sustainability awards in terms of the eco um, and, and, and green category. Um, I think in terms of the boutique category now within the region, there's been some there's, you know, desert resorts, um, some new items that have come into the marketplace. And really and truthfully, there's some unique product out in this marketplace. And on the resort basis, I think in Abu Dhabi, we've seen some tremendous high-class product, fantastic service standards, and I think they will do very well on the world stage. Well, the travel and tourism industry across the Middle East being recognised here tonight at the World Travel Awards in the Middle East. And the winners of awards like that will now go forward to the Global Travel Awards, which will take place in London in November of this year. This is Phil Blizzard for AmyInfo.com.